Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews, and today we're giving you guys our final review of Rainier Fog by Alice in Chains. <laughs> After listening to this album one week over and over and over and over again, I feel that this is not a bad album. Now last week, we didn't really, you know, it, it appeared for our first impressions we didn't really enjoy this album too much. I still didn't hate it. It seemed like he did, but uh, he's, he's, we'll get to you a little bit later. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I feel that over a week this album didn't drop for me. I don't feel that this is actually a bad album by any means for Alice in Chains, but I don't feel like it's great. This album for me suffered the good but not great kind of issue. Where a lot of the songs in this album I would listen to and say, you know what, I can dig this, I enjoy it, but there wasn't much that really stuck out for me. And throughout the week I also listened to the last two recent Alice in Chains albums, Black Kids Way to Blue and The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here. And the main thing I noticed that those albums have that this one doesn't is just so many memorable moments and really hard-hitting, heavy riffs. I feel like this album suffers from not having too much that really digs into you. Now, there are some songs that do that, namely Drone and Deaf Ears, Blind Eyes. Those two are probably my favorite songs in the album. Originally, it was just Drone, but then more recently, like a day or two ago, I heard Deaf Ears, Blind Eyes again and said, wow, this is a great song. Like, how did I not notice how good the song is? So. But those are the only two songs in the album that really pique my interest. So with two out of like what, like 10 songs, it's not really yeah. like strong enough to really carry through. But even then, like the first three tracks, the one you know, uh, the title track, Rainier Fog and Red Giant, I still think are good songs. I'd put those on, I would enjoy them. Like I wouldn't, you know, skip them or I wouldn't get bored by them, even throughout the entire week. I did not get bored, mm -hmm. like too bored of this album. It's just not as good as the other two. It didn't hit those marks like the other two did. Because when I listened to those other two albums, there was song after song where it kept blowing my mind, like, wow, what's this? This song's great. There's something that's really memorable about it. so many of the songs from the other two albums. So that was one of the biggest downfalls I felt from this album. But I'm curious, what do you think of, of the last track in comparison to the rest of the album? Because previously, we were saying, you know, this is a good track, but it kind of is diluted by the rest of the album. So what are your thoughts on that? I think after listening to it, uh, you know, all week long, I my opinion on it has changed a bit because after hearing the other songs more and more, they seemed a little less boring than they were the first time I listened to it. So the last song being how it is, just kind of the long, mellow song to close the album off, I think it does a good job. And I don't think that the rest of the songs on the album are kind of in the same vein as I mentioned last week. They are similar, but the more I listened to it, the more I felt like it did stand out on its own, which I guess is a good thing. With that said, I still don't really like the song. I don't, I don't have any really anything positive I could say about the song other than the fact that it is kind of a nice closer to the album. But as far as the album goes itself, uh, it's a closer to an album that I really didn't enjoy that much. I couldn't really get behind this album that much. I really tried. Uh, there are some positive things I've taken away from it though. Uh, namely, uh, I'll mention this, last week we talked about Drone. We both agreed Drone was our favorite track. You, you said Drone is still your favorite track. My favorite track has changed. Drone is still a good track, but my favorite track is the first track, the one you know. The first single grew on me quite a lot. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's probably the song I listened to the most because I did shuffle the album a few times, but most of the time I played it from beginning to end. So I obviously heard the first, you know, half of the album more than the rest. But the one you know just grew on me. I'm not exactly even sure why it grew on me, but it, for some reason it just seems to stand out amongst the rest of the songs. I feel like whatever that reason is, is the reason they made it their first single because they knew it had some catchy elements to it. So I like that song. I think the second song, Rain Your Fog, is really good. The third song, Red Giant, is also good. Those three songs are great. Fly, the fourth song, sucks. I think that song is awful, but I'll get back to that in a second. After Fly is Drone, which is also good. So that's the first five songs. After that, everything's kind of hit and miss. Depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm feeling it. Sometimes there's a certain part of the song, a little riff, a little harmony, a little melody that I might go, oh, that's all right, that's all right. But None of the second half of the album was really any good to me at all. Just a little few parts peppered here and there that I kind of liked. 
But with all that said, my favorite part on the entire album is in the song Fly. Even though I hate the song, the solo in that song is my favorite thing on the entire album. Love the solo, love the style of the solo. It's very emotional, it's very um, stylistic. And I use those words a lot when I'm describing solos, but I don't know how else to say it. Like, it just has so much mood to it. And it's got like attitude and I just love how it kicks in. And I just, I'm just like, yes, I'm feeling it. Like, this is fucking cool. But then it goes back to the, the way the song is and I just don't like it. I just, I don't know. For me, mostly the things I don't like were the vocal harmonies because there's a guitar player named Jerry Cantrell, I think. He does a lot of the, he does a lot of the uh, harmony vocals with, um, I don't even know the lead singer's name. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody mentioned it in the comment section, but I don't even know who his name is. But um, yeah, they do a lot of harmony vocals together. When they do that, it just sounds lame to me. Like, it's just not something that I really can get behind and enjoy. It's a little bit too, maybe, uh, bright sounding. Where I tend to like music that's a little more darker toned. I'm not opposed to bright sounding music, but when it's constantly happening throughout the album, it's just, a, it's just not something that I really enjoy listening to. That my ears just don't really enjoy that style of music. Uh, yeah, that's a very consistent thing throughout like all their music too. Like that kind of like the newer stuff. That's that kind of vocal harmonized vocal. Yeah. You'll see that like everywhere with the new stuff. So when coming into this review, my goal here is to be as objective as possible. I always try to do that, right? Because if I listen to an album, I don't like it. That's just my opinion. I don't want to put my opinion in this review and say, don't listen to this album. This album sucks, blah, blah, blah. Because that's just my opinion. But objectively, I think this album is pretty good. There's nothing that I could say is like bad about it. Like when I talk about the harmonized vocals, that's my own personal opinion. I just don't like that. But is it done well? Yes, it's done well. Is it done at at good timing intervals? Yes, it's done at good intervals. Like, there's nothing really bad about it. There's nothing that's misproperly placed or improperly placed, I should say, or anything like that. So overall, the song the songs are put together very well and the album is performed and recorded very well. It's just not something that my taste can, you know, enjoy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What else, what else do you have to say? Do you have anything? Um, well, you know, you mentioned Fly. I mean, I wasn't really a huge fan of that song. That kind of is where the album dipped down a little bit for me. And then, you know, it was a little bit hit and miss after the halfway point. But Deaf Ears Blind Eyes really grew on me a little bit hard. Uh, I really started to enjoy that one a lot more. But like Maybe and Never Fade, eh, I, I wasn't really too huge into them. But I didn't hate them. I didn't think they were terrible songs. I just felt that Alice in Chains has done better than that. But All I Am, I think is a really cool sounding track and is a great album closer. Like, as you mentioned, like it does a great job at ending the album. And I like listening to it. I love how chill, relaxed it is. And it's consistent for seven minutes too. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just really good at um, sending you off for this album. But uh, overall, it's good. I guess we might as well get to ratings now. And you know, as I said at the beginning of this video, I feel this album is good, but not great. I don't think there are problems with this album, like huge problems that make it, you know, not listenable. I could definitely put this album on and enjoy it, but I would more rather listen to the other two knowing that there's a lot more depth, there's a lot more just things they explore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot harder, the riffs are a lot catchier, there's a lot more memorable moments from the other two albums than I find there are from this one. This one's a lot hit and miss, but like I said, good but not great, I give this album a 6. So how about you? Uh, you know, I, I kind of share a lot of the same thoughts as you. I think this album is pretty good, but not great, obviously. Uh, like I said, there's nothing really negative I could say about it. I feel like this album was kind of plucked right from the 90s. It fits right in with the grunge sound. They didn't, you know, stray from their sound at all, which is good if you're an old school Alice in Chains fan. I don't think this would be a good album for new fans to get into, like Agreed. myself. Uh, this isn't. I, I explained in the last week's video that I'm not really a fan of this band and this doesn't help that. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a good one to start on. Yeah, it's not a good one to start on. So, um, but with that said, like, I'm tossing back and forth in my head about how to score this album. Like, do I score it, try to score it based on what I think other Alice in Chains fans might think or score it based on how I feel myself? So, just to avoid any 
I don't know, confusion or whatever, I'm just gonna give it a straight flat five right down the middle. That's kind of how I tend to score things that I'm unsure of. I mean, it's not good, it's not bad, it's just kind of right in the middle. If I had to throw my opinion in there, it'd probably get more of like a three out of 10, to be honest, because I really, I mean, it felt almost like a chore listening to this album throughout the week. Um, but I did it, and I got through it. <laughs> oh, congratulations. But I, I give it a five. Five's my score because I feel like my opinion should be put, pushed aside, and just the actual content itself should be judged. But I really think there's there's so much more potential that they could have had there. So five's all I'm giving it. You gave it a six. Not great scores, but, but we've, we've given worse. Yeah. We've given worse. This album is definitely acceptable. I mean, other Alice in Chains fans, I've seen a lot of mixed opinions. You know, I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying like, wow, this album's amazing, or, you know, other people saying, you know, it's not so great, not great for the new ones, but mm -hmm. overall, it's a not bad album, so you should still check it out, give it a chance. But give I would say, chance. if you're new to the band, you might want to try something else. Anyway, yeah. that's all we got for you guys today. Remember to like the video if you liked it, comment, tell us what you think of this album after a week after its release. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm TV Fish. And I'm Vile Self. We'll see you guys later. Peace.